Sure. So as it relates uh, to uh, the violent incidents in the past, I would say 24 hours in the city relative to women, uh, what I will say is none of these acts are random at all. And what we have to understand that women also play a role in violent activity in our city. And so um, they will remain under active investigation. Uh, what the New Orleans Police Department continues to demonstrate, that their investigative practices bring real uh, cases, uh, not only to close, but arrests that are being made significantly that tie to uh, incidents that you mentioned previously, but also real progress being made right now regarding the incidents that have occurred in the past 24 hours. Women play a role in violence also. Yes. Were you referring to anything specific with regard to these cases? I'm saying that they're not random. Okay. I'm saying that they're not random. Yep. I, I kind of missed the question, but on the same topic, mm -hmm. we've had all these women who have, have been killed mm -hmm. in New Orleans. Um, just obviously, this is something on the radar of the NOPD, mm -hmm. and, and they're, I, I missed the question, but this is what NOPD is looking into this, and as you said, they play a role in the violent crime that's happening. It's been suggested that a lot of this is domestic, but it does, it, some may be, but what you're saying is not always. Well, it's, it's a, it is, it is a mixed bag, if you will. But one of the things that we do know uh, from the tireless work and efforts of the New Orleans Police Department that these incidents are not random. And what we also know um, is that, uh, unfortunately, uh, people are involved in criminal activity in our city and it plays out on the streets of New Orleans. And it is all genders, right? And we're seeing that, and unfortunately, especially as we approach Mother's Day, you know, that we have women in our community that have been murdered, right, gunned down, but definitely not random. But we will not rest, because at the end of the day, it's traumatizing to everyone. And those families, those women matter, still in all, regardless. They have loved ones, and you know what? They need justice as well. So on the victim side, um, we're paying attention there. Uh, but also just the impacts that it's having on uh, violent crime in the city. And often children are it, in the vehicle and around as this is unfolding. Yes, it is. And this is what we're seeing. Uh, and it's, it's tragedy. It's tragic. But this is what we're seeing in our households and families. Uh, and it all matters. We, can, we, can, we cannot neglect one side of it. You know, but hurt people hurt people. And it hurts our community as a whole. And it's trauma that is like an onion on top of trauma, on top of trauma. And our kids are living with it daily. Can you, can you tell us if there's any suspects in this case or any persons of interest? Um, there, well, I'm gonna leave that to the New Orleans Police Department. What I will say is that they're doing aggressive work and it is paying off for the city of New Orleans. All right, everybody, thank you Thank you so much.